Exciting news! Better Auth just launched a powerful plugin for Polar, making payments easier than ever. So in this video I'm going to show you how to implement one-time payments on Next.js projects using Better Auth plus Polar. Better Auth created this really easy to follow documentation. I'm going to share it with you in the description below. So what we need to do is to implement Polar for buying these tokens on my meal planner project. Here we already have better auth connected. So if we go to our account, we can see here that we have our user and all the details necessary for this application. So in order to make meal plans, we need to buy tokens and we need three products, 10 tokens, 50 tokens, and 100 tokens. To do that, we need to go to our Polar dashboard and here under products, create a new product. You can see here that I already created my 110 and 50 tokens products. So what you need to do is just to click on the button new product. You add the name of your product pricing. It is a one-time purchase in this application. You select a price type fixed price for me, and you can put in the price. You can add the media images, metadata, whatever you need, and you just create your product, which you can see here in your products list. And now when we have our products, we can go to the documentation and start with the implementation of Polar plugin. So we need all these dependencies. I'm just going to add them inside of my terminal. So here I'm using Ghosty. I'm just putting pmpm add better off, Polar SH better off and Polar SH SDK. That one is added, so we are good to go. We can continue. We need our Polar Access token. So that one you need to add inside of your environment file. I'm going to open my environment example. So here we can remove now Stripe, for example, because this is actually refactoring from Stripe to Polar. And here we can just put Polar Access token. And I'm not going to show you my access token here, but you need to add it in the same way, like environment example inside of your real environment file here. I've added the Polar access token to my environment file, and now we can continue. So now we need to configure our better auth server. It needs to use the new Polar plugin. So what we need to do, we need to put here the Polar client inside of our auth.ts so i'm going to copy this thing from here and i'm going to auth.ts from better auth and i'm going to put it right here so now we need to add here the polar from polar sdk dependency and let's see what's next so now we need to put bunch of things here inside the plugins in the better auth instance so let's see which options we have available here so here first we have the client that is just our own client with our access token then we can actually create a customer on our better auth signup which is really cool because our each user is going to get their own polar account and then we get to the main thing checkout so here we can list our products with the product id which we are getting basically here from our products if we go to our product right here we can see the id in the url so this is the id of my product then we can put a slug so that one is used for easy reference in checkout url for example checkout slash pro because here slug is pro and we basically need to put all of our products right here. Of course, we don't need to hard code them here in AuthTS. This one is server side rendered. So we could actually call products from our DB and just put it here dynamically. So all of our products are going in. And then here we have the success URL on which URL we are going after the checkout together with the checkout ID, which is important because we need to save that one and for authenticated users only. So we can put here as false if your users can buy something without even being signed in. Then we have here the portal. We can check for what is that one used. So it makes it possible for your customers to manage their orders, subscriptions, and granted benefits. 
that one is also useful i didn't try this one yet then we have the usage which is a simple extension for listing customer meters and ingesting events for usage-based billing and in the end web hooks which is really an awesome feature so we can create our own hooks inside the polar then inside the settings here we have the web hooks so we can add endpoints put url format and a, generate a secret and then we can catch whatever event we want so with this you can do anything event based inside of your application you can catch if the checkout is created updated if order is created and anything you want that is connected with polar now we can continue with our implementation so i'm going to take this whole polar object plugin that we need to put in inside of our auth.ts and i'm going to put it right above the next cookies so i'm putting it here and we are going to leave the client we need that we need to create customer and sign up also then we need to check out i'm going to put here the id of our product so portal we don't need usage i'm going to delete also the web hooks we don't need anything from there and now we are good we just need to import polar and check out i'm just going to take that one from here so it's from our polar better auth dependency that we installed so i'm adding that import right here i'm going to remove oh it's automatically removed all that are not used so now we don't have any warnings and we can put our product id so i'm going here to my products and i'm going to put in the 100 tokens product that id so i'm copying it from my url right here and I'm going to put it instead of this one, two, three, four, five, six. So here we have our product ID. We can call it, I don't know, 100 like this. That's going to be our slug, 100 tokens. And now we just need to add it through our auth client in order to check out. So let's get back to our documentation. First thing we need is here to put polar client inside of plugins inside of our auth client so our auth client also needs to know about our plugin so here i'm just adding the plugins inside of the create auth client object like this and we are going to import that one from also from polar sh better auth so i'm adding that import right here and that one is now good so next thing we need to do is just to add the auth client checkout and that one can be found let's see where here so this is everything we need to do in order to buy our product so i'm going now to the buy tokens page right here and i'm going to create a new here we have already by tokens we already have the number of tokens we still don't have all the products right here but i'm just going to add it like this auth client i'm going to remove the stripe stuff and here we need our actual id so this id is i think good let's check it inside so it's finishing with f35 f35 that's the one and we are calling calling the buy tokens when we click on each card inside of our ui right here and now if i click on any of these cards i should basically buy 100 tokens because we hard coded that product id and let's try it out so i'll click on the 50 tokens and if it's successful it should lead us to the success page so here we are we are on the checkout page here i already have my email so that is really good i can put the card number this is sandbox so we can use the sandbox like this i'm putting the security code expiration date my billing address everything is good so i should do this we also have here the taxes and everything let's pay so if it's successful it will lead me to the success page it doesn't exist but that's okay and we should get the checkout id so now payment successful getting your products ready awesome and now we should be redirected to that slash success page and there it is we are on the uh oh page and here we can see we have our checkout id so if we go 
here inside of our 100 tokens dashboard we can see that we have one order made by me and everything is all right so we got this product and everything was working from like the first try awesome and we can now get everything from polar inside of our application so here inside the documentation we can see that we have bunch of plugins to get basically everything that we need so here we can get our customer state we can get orders here we can get the benefits in case it's some subscription then we can have list of orders product billing type type one time so this is basically what we need in here inside of our application if we go to our account we have the billing page so that's basically the place where we would put that one so here we have account and billing here we can see the history of all bot tokens so here we would put everything from there and for everything else we could create our own web hooks so for example for inserting this payment inside the database i would definitely create and a web hook endpoint for checkout created and added to this specific user because with better auth you're controlling your own users you have your database you can put it there and just enlist it from your own database and that's it i hope you enjoyed in this video if you have any questions regarding better auth or polar just ask me in the comments or join the discord channel for more content like this join the mighty horde subscribe